Greetings and welcome back to Animal Crossing. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we have a couple of different projects which are going to be interesting to do. Um, <laughs> we had some a nice time buying turnips, shall we say, today. So I'm going to show you those. But first, I want to start with mail call. I love, love, love answering uh, the mail because we get so many. Oh my gosh, we have so many things in here. All right, well, let's start looking. We have from Cetria three new things. Let's go and open this. Let's see, a cat tower, oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna start squeeing over cat towers, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> this is exciting. Cetria, if you'll remember, is the one that gave me the beautiful um, KOS angel costume. I love that. Okay, so let's throw this away, see what Cetria has sent us. An animated wall, ooh, that sounds very nice. Uh, I also made some, uh, some things. Uh, I changed one of my rooms. I'm not sure if I like it. I was just checking on that balloon. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but we'll just check it out. Okay, so let's see what we have here from Cetria. Here's our cat tower. And then we have our another cat tower. Oh my god. Oh, this is great. Cherry blossom trees wall. Oh, that sounds pretty. Okay, let's look at these things. This sounds absolutely great. Okay, let's go in here. So this is one of the rooms that I made major changes to. So this is our cat room. And I found some walls and floors and I decided that it might be interesting just to have various items up here. I also ran out of storage space. So the top row is um, folk costumes, which um, I don't have one for the end yet. The middle row is like uh, fantasy stuff. So we have, you know, like Disney princess, and then we have a vampire costume, kind of Aladdin looking thing, another princess, a link costume and a fairy. And then the bottom is kind of like everyday clothes. We have a uh, farmer's outfit the and the apron, and then the, the simple dress here, which is lovely. And then we have like this groovy 70s thing. And then we have, maybe that's like a Cinderella having a bad day <laughs> costume and then the comedian costume. I don't know what you think. Uh, let me know. I'm, I'm really curious to see what you have to say. I don't know if I'm going to keep this layout or not. Uh, we also have some other stuff on the walls. Let's go ahead and just go into edit mode here. Uh, we, have, we have these hats on this side. And then a surprise on this side. Hello dresses. Hello Easter stuff. I have no idea what to do with that Easter stuff. However, having it on an invisible wall is kind of handy. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this design. It's very busy to look at. I kind of wanted this room to be very zen and peaceful, but we'll just see. We'll see. Okay, so let's pick up the cat bed and put down the cat tower instead. I think that's going to look great here. Let's see. We have one cat tower here. Oh my god, this is so great. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. We'll put another cat tower in the other corner right by the, the chair. Cats love to be in rooms that you're sitting in. Oh my god, I have two cat towers. This is so good. Thank you, Cetria. <laughs> or Ketria, depending on your uh, proclivities. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, so let's see. Cherry blossom trees. Whoa. Oh my god. Hello. Oh, this is nice. Oh my god, I'm in love with this wall. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is so great. This does not belong in this room. This this room is for clothing on the wall. <laughs> this belongs, I don't know. This might even be nice enough to go in my main room. I want this to be my, my really uh, koshly room, which is very cozy and friendly and simple and nice. It might go here. It might go in the, the back room. I have stored some of my uh, turnips in the toy room. Uh, I put this kind of brown flooring. It seemed to be good with those, but maybe the cherry blossoms will go here. I don't know. No, I don't think they go in here. I don't know. We're going to have to figure out a place because I absolutely love that cherry blossom wall. Maybe when we get a new room. So what I did is I had a lot of money from the sale from uh, the... Uh, I don't remember if it was during the stream or after the stream where... Um, one of the wonderful people in my community had a great um, oh, pet bed. I'll put that in storage as well. Um, had a really great price on turnips. And we were able to get some awesome turnips going on. And, oh, yeah, that goes to a friend. 
But um, I saved all of that money and I earned more money with selling fruit and all kinds of stuff. And oh my God, we had one day where we had an iron item that was the hot item of the day. So man, I cashed in on that because I had saved all my iron. Whoops. Okay, so let's see who else sent me stuff. Okay, so we have something from Talim. Cat bed exists as exchange pals. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Talim. Let's look at this. Okay. And then we have what else? Oh. Kombi Futternapf. Hmm. I wonder what that is. I have no idea. Well, I have I have an idea as as per the um I don't know, redefining language series. <laughs> but I don't actually know what it could be. Let's go and see. Let's just open these up outside so we don't have to have the loading screen every time we go in. Oh my god, you sent me a cat tower. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. I'm gonna have so many cat towers. Thank you so much. You know what? I might put one in each room so that my uh, invisible cat... Oh, and a pet food bowl. Oh, how nice. Oh, this is great. Now the cat can eat. So my cat is currently invisible. I'm gonna find if there's a way to make the cat uh, actually have um, uh, decoration like stripes or spots or gray or whatever. Uh, just FYI, there's no cat, but we're going to pretend because we can't have all of these pet items without a cat. Okay. Oh, this is from Lil. Thanks for the dress. Here's the one you wanted in return. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we, we went to the same island yesterday. And uh, we kind of were trading dresses. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Lil. All right, so let's see what Lil has sent us. Okay, throw this away and see. Oh, I hear a balloon. Okay, so one of the things I am doing diligently, I don't care about egg balloons, but I got the 300 balloon achievement. Uh, so we're looking for a golden balloon that's going to come somewhere from the skies. Um, we're also looking for regular balloons because the cherry event, the cherry blossom event ends on the 10th. And I don't have all the recipes yet, so I really want to get them. Um, I'll show you which ones I have. If you have extras, I would love to trade for anything. Uh, I only have these guys, and there's like 12 of them. So if you have any of the ones I'm missing, I would be grateful if you would uh, exchange with me. I can trade you crafts. I don't have many recipes. I have a couple bunny day ones. But I have eggs. I'm sure everybody has eggs. But I have lots of materials and I can send you items, whatever you want. I really want those recipes. Um, the only other way to get them is uh, sometimes Isabel will uh, announce one in the morning. She'll give you one in the morning, maybe. I haven't gotten one for the past several days or at all. And you can also shoot them down from balloons. So anyway, here's hoping we all get them. So let's look what Lil has sent us. Ooh, an adventure dress. And what else? Oh. A kimono adventure dress let's wear this see what that looks like oh that's so cool yeah it's like a alice in wonderland that is adorable thank you so very much and this oh wow look at that kimono is that not beautiful whoa you know what i may have to put that one on the wall as that last one because this is just gorgeous or either that or wear it oh my god that's so pretty all right i'm gonna uh continue to wear my letter jacket because a dear friend gave that to me thank you so very much ms matrix who said that i don't know how she got that k but she says one of her people gave it to her so she would she gave it to me so i thought oh that's so cool and of course we have the viking hat because ms is a natural born viking from norway land <laughs> okay, so let's see what Desi has sent to us. Hello, not another mobile. <laughs> okay, what is this thing then? Hmm, I wonder. Let's look. All right, so Desi has sent a mobile. <laughs> okay, let's put that up in our other room. And Bard. Oh, 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 wait, wait, it's gonna have to wait. Oh, no, 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 we can't axe it down. We are not good with throwing axes yet. Oh, that should be a thing, actually. For us Viking warrior people, like, we should learn how to be a throwing axes in this game. <laughs> All right. A changing room. Really? Come on, game. Come on. Give me some... Give me some real stuff. Okay. This is... It's like a... Wow. Okay. I could put that on the beach, maybe. I don't know. Um, so there, you'll notice some other items I've placed around the place and I'll show you one funny thing that I did. 
Anyway, let's see what Bard has sent us. Thanks for visiting my island. I hope your days are filled with story and song. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you so very much, Bard. Um, and let's see what Bard has sent us. A pan flute. Oh, that's so nice. Yay! <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> Poor gal looking for those notes very severely. <laughs> All the blinking. So if you hold it, it just does one note. So you have to actually click a lot. That is so cute. Thank you so very much, Bard, for that. That's very sweet. Okay, let's go inside and store some of these things because we got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm really excited about... Um, today's episode and things and stuff so let's go ahead and put this away and we're gonna put this in storage so we don't carry it around that we're gonna put down i think we'll put the adventure dresses and the kimono in storage on the cat tower oh my god the cat tower let's go and put them all in here for now <laughs> and the food bowl and everything i might redistribute those uh, cat towers and have like one in each room instead because the cats love to be where we are um and it's nice that they can, uh, you know, so they can socialize with us. Yeah, this is getting, this room is getting a little bit busy. Maybe I'll make this a clothing room and just have like a changing uh, the wardrobe somewhere in here. Or maybe I'll move all this clothes to, um, I know the downstairs or upstairs room is bigger once we get those. But um, yeah, we'll just, it's a work in progress. We'll just call it that. <laughs> See, now this doesn't actually work for my cats, just FYI. Because my cat, um, my Arabella cat, used to grab the kernel and dip it into the water. So we had to put the water and food on different sides of the room. <laughs> so she wouldn't do that because the, the water bowl was getting filled with kernels. I guess she liked it like cereal and milk kind of idea there. Softens up the kernels or something. Or maybe she liked the taste. All right, let's see the mobile Desi sent us. I'm very curious as to what this might be. I think we might go into build mode to place this down. All right, let's go into build mode. And pockets, as you can see, my turnips are slightly overflowing into here. Okay. Um, yes. Oh, oh, it's different. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so much, Desi. That's really great. I'm going to put it by the loom. It's very, like, woody and nice. That's great. I like this very much. Oh, yes. And I did not show you yet. I have a Viking... Uh, outfits, which we found at one of our stores. Um, somebody in the community had a store with these Viking outfits. So yeah, visiting other people's stores is fantastic. Great, nice. Um, let's see if we can just like show you the hats better. There we go. Now you can see the hats properly. But yeah, each each um, set of armor has uh, a hat that goes with it. I don't know what the pants are. There probably are Viking pants out there. So we're looking for those. But I like having some, some of the items I really like having all the colors or at least buying all the colors so that I can get, have access to them later if I want to. All right, let's go out into the world and I'll show you a couple of fun things. <laughs> so let us go, hmm. Uh, we're not gonna check on flowers and stuff today, though I kind of gave a cursory glance earlier. We have a few hybrids, which I'm very happy about. Um, firstly, we're going to go over to this side of the world. Hey, Flo, how you doing? We've got another uh, orange pansy. That's nice. Okay, and then we're going to go get our ladder here. So, I had to put down some furniture because I talked to Isabel and she's like, Hey, you know, you have too many items on the ground, which was a lot of tools and stuff. I had a down at. well and it was the items I had for trade in the little trade corral so um, she says oh you need decorations so I'm like hey I have all these items in the trade corral uh, so I decided to make kind of a little camp here so this is the cult of the green teddy bears <laughs> where we have them watching the person sleep. We have a fortune telling set with candles and things and documents and a bingo thing and a metronome. All of these providing mystical services to this person. Some deranged animal who lives here. Lots of punching bags for martial arts training. We have a tiny bitty uh, loo over here as well as a clothes closet uh, and a beach chair and then for visiting guests. And then there's a horrible like fuchsia couch over here oh i can't can't see it but it's horrible it, i just put it behind the cliff because it was so terrible 
<laughs> anyway, hopefully Isabel will be happy with my efforts that there are items placed on her island. Hooray! Uh, when I look back in, in uh, retrospect, that was actually a really good spot to have turnips be. Uh, but I didn't do that. Oh, this is exciting too. We got some, uh, some hybriding going on there. So what I did is I decided to enclose the right-hand side beach near where I already have some turnips storage. So what I did is I went up here, and this is kind of inconvenient, by the way, that I don't have a ramp yet. I put turnips here. I have several, as you can see. I removed the fencing, as you and you can see, I have turnips all the way down on the beach there and the rocks, uh, along with my bugs. This is, an, an, this is kind of a unique area here, because what I can do is I can go down here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if I get my inventory, you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, and you can go down to that rock as well. This is actually a nice spot, but you it's, it's one tile off. Like, you can see the fencing that I put there. But you can't actually get up here. For some reason, you need to, like, use the ladder between stuff. And then here... We just have this and we can walk on this ledge along this side. Uh, and then I chopped down all my palm trees over here because I thought, well, yeah. Um, I really didn't want to do too much to the bamboo because I really want to harvest that for some of the spring bamboo. Uh, so basically I have them all on the beach here, but this is not safe from, from visitors. So what we need to do is we need to make this safe uh, in case we have random people. I would trust people in the community, but you know, if others come, it's like, eh, probably not. Um, you can see also I've put down some pathing here uh, a tiny bit. I might make this too wide, at least until it comes to this lovely curvy bit. I'm not sure though, because I like this on the grass, but this looks so strange. And I, I really wish we had transitions. Like, why is there a grass gap here? Come on, Nintendo, fix this. <laughs> fix, please fix. Um, so for temporary purposes, I feel like it might be useful to just fence off some of this area here. So let's get our ladder and go up and we'll fence off this to begin with. We just want to make this safe from people getting in. Okay, build fence. Boom. Okay, so that's that safe. Now then, where can people climb up here? Can they climb up here? Yes, they can. Okay, so that's fine. We need to put the fence somewhere, probably at the rock. That seems like the safest thing to me. Build fence. Uh, okay, so we'll start here. Clonk. And then clonk again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the way it adds it on there is crazy. Okay, so I can't walk there. That's good. I'm glad we don't have jumping in this game. That's most useful. <laughs> now then, here. Here is a challenge. Um, Because they may be able to get up this way. Hmm. I was thinking of something like this. Wait, the other thing we have to be careful of is this area because people can leap across the river as well. Okay, there we go. I guess no bamboo for me. All right, it's fine though. I'll find, there's so many bamboo islands. I keep getting them. It's actually kind of annoying to be perfectly honest. Okay, can they get, can we get in this gap? No, you cannot. Okay, that's fine. So let's see about this thing. We can get up here. Can we get up? Oh, oh, I found a gap. Hello. Hello, gap. How you doing? Um, of course, the other thing that you can do is put objects in the way, like these bamboo-y things. But the fence will do. Okay, so let's see. Can people actually climb up this area here? I think the... Pug oh, no, no, no. Right there. Right there. So, all right, <clears throat> I think we're going to have to delete this uh, mum here. Okay. And then put our fencing there. Okay, that should stop anybody coming up. Okay, great. I think we're good now. I think we are good. Boom. So... And I've already tested the other side, like from the left side. They cannot, people cannot get in that way. 
But yeah, I had this choice of, you know, should I, can I, uh, could I be able to... Oh, yeah, you can, like, slip by there if you're careful. Um, should I spend the money on the house? Because the house was 700,000. Well, that's a lot of turnips you can buy for 700,000. So I'm like, eh, you know. Let's see, and if we go up here, I don't think we can slip by that fence. I think we're fine over here. Okay, so we have made it. People proof, <laughs> or thieving proof, I should say. Um, and we just want to check one more tiny thing. Uh, also, it's a good thing to collect those petals. I'm not going to do so probably in here, but... Okay, I'm trying to click, and it is not going. We cannot go over this area, so we are good. Hooray! Okay, wow, nice. That's actually really good. Oh, there's a petal. It's fine. Um, also, if you are new to the game and you need eggs, please come to Discord. A lot of us have more eggs than a billion chickens can lay. So we would be happy to either uh, trade with you or give to you or however you want. Um, we're a really, really friendly, fun community and it's so good. So let's see. We're coming down this way now. And my next project is to get these things sorted so we have a couple of different projects going on here and oh this was great i should tell you about this first um i decided to trap daisy may for visitors and because i had those turnip areas open i didn't want to risk it even though you know you never know i yeah it's fine um but oh my gosh we're just deleting paths left and right i want the fence deleted not the paths please girly fix um, so what I did is I actually trapped Daisy May in here and it was handy because nobody had to go too far um, And it was good. It was really good. Uh, she was here. I spent so much time looking for her uh, Which I should have done that for myself to find her again uh, because she was rambling all over the map. Oh my god um, But anyway, here we go so what I decided is I want, you know, these flowers are very organized over here. And then the ones in the back, I thought, you know, we have this beautiful red fencing. And it's a nice, like, um, contrast. Just a white background of flowers behind it. And as you see, it's a mosaic. It's very much um, uh, just a combination of all different flowers here. And I think it looks quite pretty. Uh, of course, we're going to have to see how it looks when it's finished. But because uh, right now we just have the buds. So, um, anyway, but that's my concept for this area, and I think it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, this side, I haven't done too much on this side because I didn't have a lot of the white flowers on me. So what I did is I have all the white stuff, or I have all the flowers we're needing for both of these projects, and these guys are white flowers, all of these. So I thought I would just, like, uh, dig them up, and we're going to plant this flower bed right now and kind of put stuff where uh, it's, you know... You just mix it up a bit let's see we'll take like two of these guys i think these are the mums so let's go here and plant some mums there we go plant and then maybe here i love that you can just like stand on a square and plant it so on this side we have three going outward so this will be okay if we have three here. So let's just move. Let's get this mum thing over here. Oh, I hear a balloon. Hello. There's Daisy May. Hey, Daisy May. Oh, we have two. Okay, so one of them is going to be a good balloon. Oh, that's the golden balloon! You saw it here. It's sparkly. Check it out. We got the golden balloon right in the video. This is fantastic. Wow, hooray! Oh, this is great. Sweet! We got it. Oh yeah. Alright, so that was cool because I got that achievement quite late yesterday and I thought, why am I not getting this thing? It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, this is this is cool. That's awesome. I'm glad we got it together. So, um, right, so I was gonna get another one of these mums like on the other side of this guy's uh, path here. I think that would work very nicely. So let's put that here. It's kind of interrupting this whole thing, but I don't care. It's kind of nice anyway. So we want to take, let's get some other plants here. We have these guys, which I've completely forgotten what they are. Let's get two of those. There we go. 
and we'll put one like here. Oh, these are hyacinths. Great. Okay. Put one up here as well. Okay, so now we have hyacinths growing. I just wanted to grow. These have actually been watered one time. So we can just see like kind of what they are. So the rest of these guys, are they all in threes? I think they are. Look at this. So it looks like we could use some roses out there. Um, let's see. Those ones with the little leaves are the windflowers. Okay. Uh, these are going to be tulips, I think. So let's get one set of tulips. We already have quite a few tulips over here. Uh, but we'll put one in anyway there. Okay. So that's nice. All right. Do we have any roses over here? I don't think we have any roses. I think we're missing the roses. So let's just put a couple here on the end if we have any. Uh, we might not, actually, now that I'm looking at it. No. Oh, darn it. We could see if we have any extras. Let's go and see if we have extras, actually. We have... I'll look in the seeds in a second. Oh, no, that's not... That is not the one I'm wanting you to get, girl. Come on. Follow my directions, please. All right, we got some pink roses here. Let's go ahead and dig those up because uh, we want to place those also in their proper spot. Okay. Is that a purple one up there? Oh, that's tasty nice. Look at that. We got another purple. Ooh. Gosh. I think I'm going to have to dig this. No, no, no. Not that hole, please. Thank you. There. Nice. Meow. Meow. All right. So we got... No, we got two orange ones and one pink. Well, then. Okay. Uh, we need to figure out if orange ones... Let me look quickly at my chart for this. Let's see. Orange roses. Uh, orange and white or and orange and purple make red. So... We could kind of do something like this, basically making a hybrid red. That's kind of the point of that one. Um, maybe we should do that. I could chop down this tree or this tree maybe is even better. Or uh, maybe over here, but the problem is still white roses. <laughs> we still don't have any white roses. No, help, help. Oh dear. Okay, well, let's go and look for our white roses. We might have to organize those later. Okay. Let's see if we have any white rose seeds in here. I don't actually have any at the moment. I um I kind of thought that I had I had all the seeds. Um but I don't know. Let's look. Let us check this out. So white. These are reds. Reds, yellow, white. White windflowers. We got lots of those. White pansies. No, no white roses. Darn it. Okay, well, we might have to just get those later. I'll ask and see if anyone in the Discord has some white rose seeds. Um, and so we can get those going. But, hmm. So this is going to have to wait until I get them. But I think I need like two white roses here and there. Uh, and I don't think any of these are roses. They don't look like roses. Oh, well. Okay, let's go and plant that, that pink rose over here. Because this is where we're currently putting our pink roses. So pink roses, as far as I've seen on the chart, do not uh, hybrid into anything else. So that's why I'm kind of putting them in a final position. But this is going to be so beautiful, I think. I think it's really going to be nice. Um, so you see I've put some paths down and some I haven't. Uh, just, yeah hands getting tired and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do, what I, I guess I need to do is dig up these guys so that they're not in the way. And I might place them elsewhere. I kind of lost track of how many I should plant. Obviously there's way too many here, but yeah, it'll be fine. Let's see, can I put, should I put that one there? I could put a hyacinth there instead. Hmm. We need two different things. No, I'll put roses instead. Okay, so we'll dig these guys up so that they're not interfering with the rest of the stuff we're doing. I might continue to grow those. And then we can work on the yellow flower beds here in front of the museum. So the yellow flower beds are going to have a similar kind of concept, except it's going to be very ordered. They're not going to be mixed up. We're going to have these kind of diagonal rows that uh, go with the shape of the plaza here, which I have made 
quite happy with this. I need to show you how I did that in case you're wondering. Okay, let's go ahead and get all that done. I think we got all the white stuff. So um, let me show you first how that path making works if you're confused on how to get um, those corners, especially the corners. They're kind of like, huh? Okay, start construction. Okay, getting permission. Hooray. Island designer app is ready. In fact, I can do that maybe on the uh, that dirt path over there. So this is a dark dirt path. So if you want to have a nice corner, just go to a corner and then hit it again. And there you have a corner. If you go again, it will completely erase it. So you have three phases. You have, you know, the block, the corner, and then the erase. Um, if you try to do a corner on an end, it just erases it. So don't try to do that. You have to have something that's already connected to. Let's see how this path looks with these corners. I kind of like it a little bit blocky, but it's okay to, to test it out and see. It might actually look better with the curves. I think it might. Curves are also more, oh no, no, that's not what we wanted. No, 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 girly. Behave, girl. There we go. That's so much better. So anyway, yeah, I think this actually looks a lot better, isn't it? Kind of goes with the flowiness of the area. So with this dragonfly, I don't know where to put the dragonfly. Um, I'm thinking, let's see, we can move him over potentially in this corner here, like maybe here, oh, up here, so that he can have some flowers around him. Let's see, place. Yeah, like right there-ish, or maybe one tiny bit over there, yeah. And then have flowers surrounding him. Though I do like this, that it's kind of separate and kind of nice that way. These are gonna be the yellow flowers still in this uh, area. So the idea here I have is that we have the hyacinths, yellow hyacinths in this kind of uh, diamond shaped design kind of going around. We need to plant more of those. So let's just get those out of our, of our inventory. So yellow hyacinths plant. Yay. Oh, we have exactly enough. That's perfect. Okay. And then the next diagonal is going to be yellow roses. But I don't think I have enough roses for that. Let's see. Oh, we might actually. We actually might. Okay, this is great. Plant. And then we can kind of go up with this. Okay, great. Oh, this is nice. Okay, there we go. So we'll have this shape going on of diagonals of the different flowers, but yet all the same color. And I think that might look kind of interesting. But I plan to have all kinds of different mixed flower beds and just trying out different designs because I absolutely love this game with the, uh, the different things that you can make. Now, one thing I need to try, though, is the lilies because I brought this lily. This lily, I think, is a hybrid lily, so I probably shouldn't put it here. Just in case, let me look at lilies and see if if hybrid yellow ones. No, it doesn't look like they are identified yet. So maybe we should just use this one because it's already in bloom. So why not? There we go. Um, the another important consideration is height. I might have to move those roses back up one instead because the lilies might be too tall. Oh yeah, they're too tall. So I think hyacinths are the highest then lilies, and then roses. Uh, also, if you notice, the lilies have this kind of black center, and that might be a nice divider between the hyacinths and the roses, because the roses have no color in the center, um, so that might be a nice kind of like a delineation point. So I think we're gonna have to like, you know, fix this. We need to fix the whole thing. Okay, that's another balloon that we don't want. So, roses, We've gotta move, sorry buds. Sorry, like literal buds. Hello. <laughs> Just kidding. But yes, it is. I should have tested that first. That's okay, though. So let's get um, the rose in here. Right, and we also have mums. Oh, geez, I forgot to test the height of the mums. But I don't think we, we're going to need many more of these plants in here. Let's check the mums over here. Just so we don't redo everything. Okay, so mums... They're definitely taller than Cosmos, but they might be okay there on the edge. Hmm. I think it's it's hyacinths, then mums, 
in terms of height, uh, then lilies, roses, cosmos. Hmm. Hello? Okay, you're not the right present we want. You're not the present we want. However, I don't want to have this far out of a row, I think. I think we're going to skip the, the, the mums. Let's skip the mums. We're just going to move those roses over because they need to move. And so this row is just going to be lilies there. Okay, so let's put this rose in. It's a tiny bit of work to get all of this going. Whoopsies. So you go here. You are a rose. There you go. Plant. Okay, there we go. I don't know if we have any yellow lilies, but we'll see. We might. So let's go and plant these lilies instead. I think this might look better. Yeah. Okay. So let's plant these lilies and then go on with the roses as well. Yellow lilies. There we go. Plant one. I know I had a shortage for a time. I was like, oh my god. I was trying to... Oh, not, not yellow lilies. It was actually yellow tulips that I'm thinking about. Silly me. Um, all right, so this can continue onward. Should we put roses here or should we make this another plant? I'm thinking maybe the roses. I think we can put roses here. And then I had another idea because this area is always going to be flowers here and lots of them. So I'm thinking maybe I'll prevent people from taking a shortcut by putting a fence here. Let's see. Can we get that fence out? Let's look at the fence. Uh, where did you go? I'm not sure if I should use the imperial fencing or try another kind. Let's see. How close can I put this fence? Can people... No, people cannot sneak through there. So, yeah, that would be there looking like that. That's actually kind of nice, I think. Let's go around and we can see... This area was intended for, like, a fountain, maybe. This is what I ended up doing with the thing. I thought, you know what? European cities are not always built on a grid. Some of them are quite wild, and a lot of them have things like this, where you have one planned area that ends up getting into another planned area, and I really wish you could just get rid of this grass strip. That's so silly to me that that's... Maybe it's later in the terraforming tools? I'm hoping so. But anyway, I'm thinking maybe a tiny fountain over here or something. Um, but I thought, yeah, we're just going to leave it this way. This is this is our city. This is our place. It's misaligned, but that's okay. <laughs> we don't mind too much. So yeah, so here we have this fence. I like this idea. Um, we might add... We actually could just put the roses there or leave the roses and have the cosmos coming up along this side that way. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think we'll do that. So I'm going to go and grab some cosmos from the beach, I think. Because I want to... I'm thinking I want to leave that area for turnips with, where I showed you earlier. Um, so we'll just grab them from there. And we know how many we need. So we'll count those in a bit. So I'm just going to take these roses. Um, or actually, maybe I'll put the lilies down first and then put the roses on the outside. Okay, so lilies go here. Oh, no, no, not you. Nope. Lilies, plant. Plant. Okay. Okay, and plant again. Good. Now then, roses. Not a lot of roses. Alas, darn it. Okay, well, that's okay. No, wait. Are we wrong? We are wrong. No, that doesn't go there. We actually need two roses and one cosmos. Okay, let's put those properly then. Okay. Now we have more roses. Oh gosh, we'll have to figure out what to do with them. <laughs> They're so pretty though. And I have to figure out what to do with this dragonfly. I've seen people put them like on stumps or barrels, so that might be an option as well. I think the shortest flowers are maybe actually they're roses. They look a bit shorter than the cosmos. It's hard to tell though. Can we look? No, they're taller than cosmos, I think. Okay, just by a tiny bit. Um, okay, so we need one cosmos, uh, 
two, three, four, and five. So we need five cosmos. Uh, so we'll go and dig those up right now. If we can get back to our beach. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, it is fine. It is fine. Okay, let's go here. So I said we needed five. So here we go. One. I could dig them up from other places. I have so many flowers that... I don't know if I'll trash them or not or what. I'm kind of wondering how I should have my island. Because one of the things that occurred to me is that the stock market, the turnips, kind of ruins the game uh, in a way. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, our inventory is perfect for this. And five. Okay. Um, because it kind of, you know, provided you have friends who will help you with uh, getting a decent price at least more than you paid for it uh it, it's just okay i can't apparently i can't do this talk and do the thing at the same time <laughs> okay this is gonna have to do oh it's that that's ugly looking but that's okay it's it's fine it you know what let me just fix this hold on um yeah provided you have a decent price of stuff you will never ever like lose money on this so, but it kind of prevents you completely from farming uh, anything, really anything. Why do we have not, we have stuff. Why is she not placing it down? Hello? Okay, maybe that's all we can do with this. I don't know. I forgot if I had a corner there or not. Um, but anyway, so it's like you don't, you no longer have to go to islands to get materials or anything unless you're getting hot item of the day just for a Nook Miles completion thing. So... I don't know. It seems a bit odd to me, I guess. To have that because of the ease of getting money in this game. The only time you really need it is when you're starting out in the game. Plant. Okay, good. Here. Plant. And here. There we go. Okay. Oh, so this is looking really- this is gonna be so gorgeous when it's in bloom. I have to say, it is gonna be so pretty. So pretty! Nice! Actually, I should have put another cosmos at the end here, I think. Next to this here, because we have one on the other side there. Uh, oh no! On that side, we have- those are roses! Next to this thing. Right? No, I think it's behind, so it is cosmos. Okay, so it's a yellow cosmos. We'll, so we'll, if we find another yellow cosmos around, we'll go and um, place it there. Okay, so that is our gardening uh, complete for today. This is really good. I'm quite happy about this. I was a little bit, I don't know, the pathing here was a bit weird, I have to say. I tried to do like a, this is, this is centered on a three tile wide thing. Is what this is. I tried to do a, a one single path and it looked way too thin and I thought oh if people are running in here then they're gonna tear up the flowers. So I thought oh let's make it wider, let's make it three wide. But then I found that you could do the, the corners and curves on the corners so I thought oh that looks really nice with the shells in there and stuff. I still might put something here like maybe if there's a really pretty lamp thing or something that would look amazing on these corners. I don't know if I would want a short one or a tall one. Maybe something short, like candle-ish or something like that. I don't know. I haven't seen all the furniture in the game, so. And then I have to decide what's going to go on with this uh, little dragonfly. Maybe something, maybe something gentle. Maybe like pink roses or pink some things. Or maybe lilies. I don't know. But I'll have to figure out the colors. Now this thing, it looks really sweet right now. I absolutely love this tree. The only problem is when it becomes the next season, these cherry blossoms are going to leave. And I'm so sad about that. Um, so we're going to have to figure this out. We might change these white things to something else. But again, I have the fossil here. I've got fossils here. Kind of evocative of the museum itself. Um, but anyway, so... That is kind of what I planned for today. Let's go and see what's in our store here. Um, let's go and see. We haven't checked out the uh, the Able Sisters yet. I haven't even been in the store. I've spent quite a lot of time getting all those turnips going on. Um, there are several. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh. Oh, hello. Oh my god. That's pretty. Is that like a tuxedo dress? Wow. Okay. And is this a hoodie? Hello? A space parka. I love it. That's cool. All right, so these are the things I have in my shop today. And, oh, it looks like bunny noses and possibly hair barrettes. Let's go just see what's in here. Oh, hey, that's a way to instantly change out of construction mode. Okay, uh, so if you want to come shopping at my store, feel free to say so. Oh, I've got, oh, raincoats. Yes, I have a crappy one. I wanted this particular color. I think I wanted yellow, uh, but I could never find it. Oh, and then we have these trench coats. Those are very fashionable. Space Parker, does that have a hood? Yeah, I think it sort of does, maybe. Or it's a collar in the back. I don't know, but it's very cute. We have, what else do we have? Oh my God, we have the comedian's pants. I have every one of those pants. Look at this chic tuxedo dress. I love the way it like wiggles as she moves. That's so cool. Hooray. And we got the hair bows. Those are cute. And we have soft serve hats. Somebody I saw was wearing a brown one. And I thought, that's like a poop hat. <laughs> because of the emote. <laughs> so I might get some of these for my collection. And then, of course, we have a rounded beard. Wow. I didn't know this was a thing. I thought that was like, yeah. And we have a pig nose. Aw. Anyway, um, feel free to, to come to Discord if you want to come shopping and all that kind of stuff. And um, that could be fun. Oh, let's see what I forgot to look at the, the end of the list. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I forget to I, I click X or B to get out of this because I'm like, oh, I, I want to take that off. Ultra no show socks. You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, boots, though. Those are cute. Wow. I love those boots. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to farm, I think, a little bit today because I spent all my well, I have I have a hundred thousand in the bank. That's important to have a tiny bit left. Uh, but I'll go shopping later. Anyway, if you want to come shopping, if you want to just look around, feel free to um, come to Discord and uh, friend me and I'll, I'll try to open the island. And uh, yeah, it's great. And again, if you have any cherry blossom recipes, I'd love to trade you. Uh, I do have a small section here. If you want to pick something up, feel free. And if you want to leave something for me, also feel free. You can leave it like on the beach or somewhere uh, down here. Where is it? Like here or somewhere. Anyway, um... Yeah, so that's about all the projects I had for today. I thank you so very much for being here, for joining me. I'm really excited to see how these flower beds turn out. Um, and I'm going to design some new ones for the rest of the town. So thank you again for being here. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.